Vava Tampa is a Cong Congolese and he is the founder of the Save the Congo, a London-based campaign for human rights in the Democratic Republic of Congo. He now joins us via Skype from London. Now, Vava, thank you so much for joining us. Now, was the reception given to um, Jean-Pierre Bemba on his return to the DRC expected? Yes, it was. Um, Jean-Pierre Bemba remains quite popular in Kinshasa and in the west or northwest of Congo, uh, so the equatorial equatorial region. So it was expected uh, that hundreds of thousands of people would come out on the street as they did today in Kinshasa. And we expect a lot more to come out uh, when it goes um, to his native land, which is Gemena in northwest of Congo. Now, is he safe in the DRC? Well, that, that remains um, the, the $1 million question that every Congolese and expert on Congolese issues are asking themselves. And, and it depends on a couple of things. It depends on whether or not Bemba would accept to cooperate and essentially um, back up or align himself with Kabila and Kabila's camp because they are incredibly threatened of either Moise Katumbi returning to Congo or Felix Tshisekedi uh, winning the elections. Um, so the, if Bemba does indeed align himself with Kabila, then he will be safe. If he doesn't, then we expect a lot of trouble. We expect him to face a lot of trouble. Now, on his return, his uh, political party seems to believe that he is eligible to run for elections and he, sh he will be allowed to run for elections. The, the, basically, the question is, will he be allowed to run for, ele for, for presidential uh, post? Well, that, that's one side of the question, whether or not Bemba is allowed to run. But that, that opens a whole box of questions. If Bemba is allowed to return, and uh, given that Bemba was at the ICC for war crimes and crimes against humanity and is being freed on the basis of technicality, what about Moise Katumbi? Mm -hmm. How come Moise Katumbi is not allowed to return? What about other opposition and civ civic leaders in prison, in Kabila's prison? People such as Frank Diong, um, Diomin Dongala, uh, a friend of mine, Carbon Benny, and so on and so forth. Those are the key questions, and, and it goes at the heart of the issues in Congo, which is, if the next elections are not free, fair, or transparent, it is going to lead to even more violence and in an even a greater crisis. It's because of that reason, because we know that Mr. Kabila, who has been claiming he would respect the constitution, but has done nothing to respect the constitution, the machine of vote or the voting, the electronic voting system is not in the constitution. Um, if the election, which Mr. If is organized and Mr. Kabila, is not going to be free, fair, or transparent, and because of that reason, we are asking for a civilian transition without Mr. Kabila, led by Dennis Mukwege, he is not a politician, so that we can organize free, fair, and transparent elections to avoid further violence. Free and fair and transparent elections to return Congo to constitutional order. Free and fair and transparent elections in which every Congolese, including Katumbi and other figures in prison, can take part. Now, Katumbi has stated that he is in support of uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba running for uh, the presidential post. And that the fact that you touched on it earlier, the fact that he also wants to go home and put his name in the, in the, in, in the, bo in the box in terms of um, running for the presidential post. And the fact that if Jean-Pierre Bemba is allowed to run for presidential elections, then he can, um, he will be supporting uh, Jean-Pierre Bemba. In terms of that, do you think think um, Kabila's, uh, Kabila's government will allow that? These two powerful gentlemen who are going to be his uh, competitors or op opposition? Yeah, I, I am incredibly hoping if there were a prospect for a free and, free and fair and transparent elections under Kabila, I would be pushing for the entire opposition to come together, create a larger coalition, and essentially with one candidate to go against Kabila's camp. But now we know that Kabila's camp are not in favor of that idea. Now, whether or not Katumbi and Bemba and Felix Tshisekedi and, and, and other figures such as Martin Fayidu would accept to work together, it remains to be seen. But we are hoping, we are pushing them, we are swaying them, campaigning and lobbying them that they must unite. The 
crisis facing Congo, it's incredibly huge. Congo as a country cannot survive another three or five years of conflict. And remember, your viewers would remember that over 6 million Congolese people have died in the crisis in that country. And if these elections are not free, they are not fair, they are not transparent, it's going to lead into another crisis. It's going to give certain people already with guns the legitimacy to say, guess what? Kabila has cheated again. We are not going to accept this result as it, uh, because of that we are going back to the forest and we're going to take him by force. And that would lead into more killing, more death and more displacement. It's because of that, I cannot stress this enough, that we desperately need at this time a civilian transition without Kabila or anyone from the opposition. That transition would be made up of techno technocrats, people and civic leaders to organize free and fair and transparent election. And we are pushing for Mukwege because he is our only other uh, we'll author moral authority who can do it. Vava, thank you so much for joining us. We'll leave it there for now. It is a developing story, one that we'll be watching very closely. Thank you so much for your time. And that was Vava Tampa, who is a Congolese founder of the Save Save the Congo, a London-based campaign for human rights in the Democratic Republic of Congo.